today I'm going to be teaching you how to, like, so the parts of a viola, a viola, not a violin, and how to put your shoulder rest on. So first we're going to start with the parts of a viola, which is what you're going to want to know. So right here, this round thing is called the scroll. It's just fancy. These are called pegs. Do not mess with these. Um, this is the peg box. And at the very bottom, there's a nut. And then these are the strings. This is the fingerboard, the black piece. Um, this is the upper belt, these two. C bout, they look like C's, and this is the lower bout. Um, this right here is called the bridge. These are tuner pegs, like these, they're pegs. Um, and then this is the tail. This, oh, these are the F holes. Um, on, oh yeah, and then the back here is the neck. Uh, if you look into your F holes, you can see a, a thing standing up that is a sound post. And then, so this is the chin rest. And those are all the parts of your viola and then your shoulder rest. Uh, so, fun fact about the bridge and the um, sound post is that those are actually not glued on. Those are standing up all by themselves. Okay, so now that we went over all the parts of a viola, you're going to uh, grab your shoulder rest and it should have like viola on the back. And then, uh, so this is like sad face, this is happy face. You wanna keep it sad. So on the back of your viola, when it's sad, so be careful. If I were you, I would lay it down like this. But, so this is sad face. So you're going to put it on like so. And then you have your viola. Next, um, that's all I guess you have to know about the viola right away when you're starting. But yeah, so. Let's review the parts. This is the scroll, pegs, peg box, nut, strings, fingerboard, neck, upper belt, C belt, lower belt, bridge, F holes, sound post, pegs, tailpiece, chair. Er, Chin rest and then shoulder rest. So, those are everything you need to know about a viola. Thanks for watching.